Hello, my hardworking people. Welcome once again. Um, I'm kind of um, happy because one of you sent me an email and uh, asked this question, which I would like to help you through. And the question that is sent to my email will show that the function, which is absolute value of x, is not differentiable at x equals zero. It's kind of a brilliant question that. Um, Let's say he asked, and I'm very happy to take you through. And let's find out whether absolute functions that of x at x equals zero is it differentiable or not. So without wasting my time, I would like to answer that question so that we all can benefit from it. So um, we have the function f of x equals absolute value of x. We should show that this function is not differentiable at x equals zero. Okay, so we have two conditions here, an absolute function, and we are talking at, about x at zero. So, what, what do we know about absolute functions? Um, from our algebra, we know that an absolute function deals with two aspects of the word function itself. So, what we have absolute x, it simply means x or minus x okay so we want to write this in the piecewise defined function so actually absolute functions are a kind of um, piecewise defined function so for our solution the first thing we need to do is to rewrite this in a piecewise defined manner so we can write f of x being equal to x that is if x is greater than or equal to zero and negative x if x is less than zero so if actually the number is positive we leave it as it is when it's negative we negate it to make it what positive because absolute functions are always positive giving what values so with this um, with what we did in our earlier tutorials we like to work this. So the first thing we need to do is to find the differentials at the right hand side and what differentials at the left hand side. This is greater than or equal to right hand side, less than meaning left hand side. So let's take the differential using our first principle. So differential at the right hand side limit of x, which will be the limit as h approaches 0 for x plus h, so x plus h here, minus x itself, which is the original function, all over h. So we kind of expand the upper parts of the relationship with the brackets, so h approaches 0, we still have x plus h minus x, all over h. Uh, we can find out that this x actually caters for the negative x so that we get h over h which is equal to what? 1. And finding the limit of 1 as h approaches 0 is still 1 because there is no more any h in that value. So our limit here is 1 for the right hand side of what? The differentials. Now let's find the left hand side of the differentials and see we actually get a 1. So for the left hand side differential of x, we are using what? Negative x. So we have negative x plus h minus negative x all over h as we take the limits for h approaching 0. So what's happening next? as h approaches 0, we expand and simplify. So we have negative x minus h plus x all over h. So further simplification will give us this x created from that. We are having minus h over h as the limit approaches 0. So h 
number eight cancels and we are left with what? Negative one. So the limit as h approaches zero for the left hand side limit is what? Negative one. So we can actually confirm that negative one and positive one are not what? The same. So we can find out that the limit of f of x as h approaches 0 does not exist because they are kind of different. We have positive 1 here and negative 1 there. So if the limit as h approaches 0 doesn't exist, then automatically you can say that the differentials of f of x, that is the absolute function of x, is also what? Not existing. So this is how we prove that f of x equals absolute value of x is not differentiable at what? The value x equals 0. Actually, when we want to draw the graph of this function, we are going to get something like um, this We have 0, minus 1, 1, and that's what we can start at 0. The graph has a peak here, or we can say a kink. So because of the kink, even though it is continuous, we can't differentiate it at 0 because we have a kink here. Don't forget in our previous lesson we talk about a kink, that is a peak which is not differentiable. So this is all we can say about absolute function of x not being differentiable at what the value of x equals 0. I hope this is very helpful. Um, we can use this to show for other circumstances whereby we have been asked to show if that function will be differentiable at a particular place. So catch you next time on FOMAN solution. Goodbye.